So we're busy with addition reactions and we're going to do addition of water now. What is this addition reaction called? It is called hydration. And the conditions for the reaction? This water must be in the form of steam. There must be a high temperature. Uh, in the range of 300 degrees Celsius. And there must be a strong acid catalyst. It could be either H2SO4 or H3PO4, phosphoric acid or sulfuric acid. You must look at the clouds on paper. That's the general guideline. Yeah. So in our example, we've got ethene unsaturated reacting with water in the form of steam and producing alcohol. So the, the hydration of the alkene forms an alcohol. <coughs> so ethene structural formula, does it matter the carbon that will take the OH group? No. No because the two carbon atoms have the same degree of substitution. But is everything going to get completely different when we do alkynes? No, it's just repeated. To the two carbon atoms. What do you mean? Yes, those two acids catalysts. Yes. So here we have high temperature and H3PO4 catalyst. And we have the water in the form of steam. Okay. What will form? The one the water breaks up, the one hydrogen will go to one of the carbons and the hydroxide will go to the other carbon. So what forms is <coughs> ethanol. Molecular formula C2 H4 plus H2O. You can repeat the conditions C2 H5 OH. Or it is H6, yes. But I want it to be easy to see that it's an alcohol. That's why. Um, I'm sticking the hydrogen that belongs to the oxygen to the oxygen. But you can also have the CH3, CH2, OH. Yes, you can. So CH2, CH2. You could write it like this, but I see the tendency is for you to indicate the double or the triple bond between the carbons. Plus H2O goes to CH3, CH2, OH. Now drill your brain to memorize the conditions during the addition of water 
to an unsaturated hydrocarbon. It's called hydration and it will make an alcohol. The water must be in the form of steam, so a relatively high temperature is required and the phosphoric acid catalyst or a strong acid catalyst or sulfuric acid catalyst. to an asymmetric alkene is similar to the addition of the hydrogen halides, so the halogen. Your hydrogen tends to take the carbon atom with the most hydrogens already in. That's basically what Markovnikov's rule is saying. Thank you. Can I slide from this? So we're doing hydration of an asymmetric alkene. So I guess the rules that apply to the halogenation would apply to the hydration. Markovnikov's rule applies here. Okay? Propene is the example. So propene can only have its double bond between the first and the second carbon. That's why I didn't say one propene. You get me? Yes. So this is an asymmetric hydrocarbon. It's not like the previous one. If you mix it with water in the form of steam, at the right temperature and you've got a strong acid catalyst then one of two things can fall yes this is my steam the water is actually the steam okay there is one of two project, products. The major product and a minor product. But the major product, the hydrogen will go, the hydrogen that breaks off from the water will go to the carbon that's got the most hydrogens on it already. So, ma'am, so basically, I just want to see if I understand. Odd numbers will have No, it also depends on the position of the double bond. We can do the pentane, pentene. Okay, we, next slide we'll do the pentene. Okay. So here, C, the CD. The OH will go there. So te technically this is propanol. Uh, I am I want to say it's two propanol. Yeah. Yeah. Two propanol. Because there are more positions for the OH. Okay, so this is two propanol. Yes, you're right. Because this one is the minor product where the OH joins there. Like it could be on the first or the second or the third carbon. But on the third carbon, it's the same as though it's on the first carbon. So you get one propanol and two propanol. This one is the one propanol. Yes. We didn't have to do the one, right? Because it asked for two. No, that thing is short falling. There's a shortfall there. I left the mi minor product out. So on the next slide, we'll do 
two propene or one propene, one pentene and two pentene. And it's um, hydration reactions. And see what the difference is. So the major and the minor has got to do with the percentage abundance. There will be more of the two propanol forming than what there will be one propanol form. Huh? Will we still get questions question about crystallization? Can I slide? So here we're going to look at the hydrolysis of hydration. Yes, thank you. One painting and two painting. I'd rather go a little bit slower and do more examples now that you can get it so that you'll be free to answer questions. So one pentene, the double bond is between the first and the second carbon. I'm sure you realize that this one by now will have a major and a minor product. And you can write the conditions down. You have hydration. How can you have it without water? <laughs> this one is 2 pentene. So it's an asymmetrical alkene. But the carbon atoms around the double bond has the same number of hydrogen atoms on it. So what is the rule for this one? What did we say with the hydrogen? Yes, there will be two products for me that are equally abundant. You won't have a major and a minor. You'll have two products for me, Clark. Here you have minor and major. And then with the abundant one, there's no minor and major. It's just equally impossible. Yeah, because the two carbons around the double bond has the same degree of substitution. They both have one hydrogen. And you've got an asymmetric oh. alkene. Both products are formed. No major, no minor, both of them. that will form in the first reaction. There is a minor product that will form. The minor product is the one where carbon with the most hydrogens one will pentanol. take the hydrogen. So that will be one pentanol. product will be
both products are possible. talking the chemistry can you see that often the balancing is not taking place here okay. there is no balancing of the reactions here that we are not concentrating on balancing the reaction we are concentrating on looking to see which the products are. So technically there should be two pentene molecules here with two water molecules that forms the two pentanol and the three pentanol. So we don't balance these additions. It's not really, they don't concentrate on that. Unless you need to read the question carefully. If they say write a balanced equation, then you have to balance it. Okay. So these are, once again, positional isomers. Now you understand why you have to be able to write and identify the isomers. What? So addition reactions to any unsaturated molecules, but we are looking at alkenes and alkynes. So we are now addition reactions of alkynes. And our first example involves ethyne. Ethyne has a triple bond with two carbons and adding hydrogen to this we need what? High pressure or catalyst? Catalyst. <laughs> In the presence of a catalyst. So it's only a catalyst. Yeah. Okay. So this reaction can take place in steps. Like platinum catalyst. It can break one bond to form E C. Usually these reactions take place in steps. And if you add more hydrogen to that, the double bond will break to form E thane. The way you answer the question honestly depends on what they ask. If you had to write the molecular formula you would see us say C2H2 plus 2H2 goes to and this is PT flat, flat catalyst so C2H6 the double bonds yes You see the different way in which they can ask it. Right, next is the addition reactions to L of alkynes to halogens. AJ, what are you doing? Addition reaction of alkyne to the halogens. 
What is ne necessary here? Yeah? Halogens. Halogens. Nothing Halogen. else necessary? Um, no, no, no. Look in your Halogen. bubbles. Oh. Halogenation. Are there any conditions to the halogenation oh. reaction? Oh. No. Okay. Yeah. So we've got L the ethyne. And what is the halogen that we're adding? Chlorine. So they show the reaction in two steps. So firstly, if you've got the ethyne and you add chlorine, it will form 1,2 dichloroethene. It means that it's not completely saturated yet. One of the bonds will break and a chlorine will attach to each carbon. That is why it's 1,2-dichloroethene. If you add to this, if you add more chlorine, you could also add bromine here, or you could add fluorine, you could add anything here. Then, what will the product be? The double bond will break to form a single bond, and then you'll have an halo alkane. So it's two comma uh, wait 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 one comma one comma two comma two tetra chloro ethane. 